What is going on guys, Sergeant's Tech Tips, welcome to another video on my channel. Now in today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at Minitool data recovery software. Uh, this is gonna be version 11.7 as of 12 30, 2023. I also wanna say happy new year. This video won't be coming out till next year. So we're gonna be taking a look at this program. Uh, so what this program is stating that it does is it says it accidentally recovers deleted files. So if you accidentally formatted a you know a USB stick and you, it was the wrong one, this will help. It says OS crash virus attack can lead to OS crash or even hard drive in an inaccessible. If the virus invasion causes file loss, power data recovery can be scanned. Can scan the specific location sector by sector to restore lost data. So if you have a virus attack and the virus somehow destroys your operating system but your data is still there you can use this to recover those files hard drive damage it says files lost caused by logical errors and physical damage is annoying for the hard disk may not respond or show access denied however the powerful algorithms of the best free power data recovery will get these lost files back even from lost partitions a quick specific location recovery the latest version of mini tool power data recovery as desktop recovery recycle bin recovery and select folder modules. You can choose the you can choose to only scan the desktop recycle bin or a specific folder to get deleted lost files back which saves you much time and effort. So, it seems like a decent software overall. We're going to go ahead and install it. I'm going to show you around. This is my first time taking a look at the software. This isn't the first time I've taken a look at a mini tool software. I think the last video was it had to be like a month ago, but the last time we looked at mini tool, which was the partition wizard was about a month ago. So, it hasn't been too long. They reached out to me. They wanted me to take a look at this software and I think that's that's a good idea. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and get this installed so I can show you guys around. Yeah, no, no thanks, OneDrive. Never install a software on a drive that contains lost data. So this is a good thing. So if you have a secondary computer, like if you had a laptop, I would definitely recommend installing this on your laptop instead of say, for example, I'm installing this on my desktop. It's ironic that I'm drinking coffee right now out of a drive savers cup. All right, so it looks like it brought up a website. We're going to click start now. So here is the program and it looks like we get a pop-up down here. Big surprise, the chance you don't want to miss. So right now you can get Partition Wizard Pro Ultimate for 130 bucks. It looks like this is a Christmas deal, which isn't horrible. You get one license for five computers. We're gonna go ahead and close that, but this is the program here. Let me make it a little bit bigger. So we got mini tool power data recovery free edition up here, 11.7. We actually go to about, we can see that it was building date, October 10th, 2023. 1428 is when it was built, uh, 2023 for the uh, date, obviously. You got your activation up here, bootable edition of mini tool power data recovery. So I was correct. There is a bootable version of it. You do have to pay for it, which is fine. That's especially being the fact that it's bootable. It's gonna be a little different. Uh, this is all the stuff it does. So if you guys want to check this out, you're more than welcome to. I'll leave a link in the description below for all these things. Uh, so right now we have our logical drives. These shows all of the drives that we have. Uh, this is Windows right now. So I bet if I go ahead and create a text document, we're going to say this and we'll go into the document and just type onto it at a couple numbers. That way it looks important. We'll save it. And then we're going to go ahead and delete it. And oh no, I accidentally emptied my recycling bin. Well, obviously don't do this, but uh, so now we're going to go ahead and click scan on Windows. Now, as you can see, we got deleted files, existing files, lost files. So it is working in a virtual machine. So if you have a virtual machine and you accidentally delete a file, this program will work just fine. So if we actually go to deleted files, recycle bin, important data, look at that at work. And I mean, this isn't a deep scan. So obviously the program's going to work, but and I believe if we just click here, save we can go to desktop okay and it successfully took the file look at that important data our file is there and we did not lose it because this program found it like i said that's not a very it's a good show and tell for it because it's working it's doing what it's supposed to do and all of our words are there our numbers and our random letters and words so if this was a really important document say a password or i don't know some contract for your uh, who knows whatever it is it can get it you don't really have to worry about losing data uh, obviously don't purposely delete data to test this program because it may not always work i've seen uh, data recovery not always 100 work because those ones and zeros have already been written over because when you're using a drive it's writing ones and zeros that is your data it's just ones and zeros it's binary so when you write over it those ones and zeros gets rewritten over and it's the only way you can really get it is if you send it to drive savers or another company that can do stuff like that so don't purposely delete your data okay right, so as i was stating it did actually recover the files that I uh, that I deleted on purpose. Obviously, like I said, don't purposely delete files because those ones and zeros can get written over if you don't recover it in time. Uh, we could obviously do a more in-depth test, but there's not really much for me to do. The only thing I could really search for is like hidden Windows files, but I don't have access to any of those because this is a virtual machine and it wasn't even created that long ago. Yeah, it was created like two months ago, so it's pretty new. There's not really much of a point, in, but I just wanted to actually show you guys that the program does work. Like I said, it's not a very in-depth data recovery. Uh, it was just one file. If you guys want to see more, definitely subscribe and hit that like button because then I can know you guys want to see more videos on this program because I can definitely do that. So let's go ahead and take a look at the program. Obviously, you have all these buttons, which if you click scan, going to scan that drive. They do recommend 
as I said earlier, or as you saw earlier, not to install the software on the, you know, the drive that you're trying to recover, but I did anyway, and it did actually scan it and find the soft, the file that I was missing. So it does work, but it's not recommended. It would be recommended to either get that bootable USB and then do it in a environment that way, you know, Windows isn't running and going to cause issues, or it would be recommended to do it on a separate computer and then take your drive out and then plug it into another computer. And if you have an NVMe, I'll put a link in the description below. You can get NVMe adapters to USB very easily, and they're very cheap. So that's another option. Uh, so if we go over here to devices, we have, uh, like I said, I'm in a virtual box. So these are all just virtual hard disks. I gave it about 80 gigs. So that's about right. But that's that. Uh, we got some more stuff. We could actually scan these drives if we wanted to. So if you had an external drive plugged in, and I'm sure you could port it over to a virtual machine. So you could click scan and then recover the data that way. Uh, we can also recover from a specific location like the desktop recycle bin. Uh, you can find a folder or load manually. Go down here. We got utilities, power data recovery bootable. So you can actually download or mini tool video repair. That's different repair all kinds of inaccess inaccessible corrupt video files. So down here we have the, uh, this allows you to check mark stuff that you want to be found or check mark stuff not to be found. So if you have Windows files that you know the extension to and you don't want those to be found just to make it a little easier for you, say you don't want the Word document to be found, you can just uncheck that and it won't be found. It's a very basic program. It it doesn't need to be, you know, over the top and there's a bunch of stuff to do. For a free version, it's got a lot of options, which I love. It found our important data file without a single issue even with it being on the drive that it's not supposed to be on. So I give props to Minitool for that. This seems like a very good tool. All right, guys, so I went ahead and activated the software. I looked around, I couldn't find anything that looked like it was locked before from the non-paid version, but now that I've activated it, it also doesn't look any different. So there could be a reason for that. It may limit the amount of per data that you can uh, recover, but otherwise that is Minitool Power Data Recovery version 11.7 at the time of the recording of this video. I just wanna thank Minitool for allowing me to take a look at this program. I love their software. This seems like a very good software. It found my important data file without a single issue. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Basic data recovery is an awesome thing. It's not overwhelming for new users. It's not overwhelming for veteran users. Uh, so thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video and peace out.